Hey guys, welcome back to Kotlin series. In our last video, we understand about the polymorphisms. So this video is the continuation of the polymorphisms, and we'll see how we can create a abstract class and abstract function in Kotlin. So we'll create a separate class. I'm giving a name abstract demo, and as usual, I'm creating a main function inside it. So first thing abstract class cannot be instantiated. So we cannot create an object of our abstract classes. Second is abstract class can have both abstract and non abstract methods and properties. So we'll show everything with the demo. Also, if a class has abstract method or property, then class must be declared as abstract. So we'll see all these three points in this video with the code. So first thing, we'll create a separate class. So in our last video, in when we were doing polymorphisms, we create a shape class, and then we define a function inside it. That was the area. And then we create a, another class that was circle, and we extend this circle class with the shape class so when we extend it it show us a error so it's need to define as an open class so if you remember we need to define it as an open class and then we need to define this function as an open function then only we can override this so shape class and this area function So just to find the area of our circle, we just need a math dot pi dot radius into radius. So this calculation will return us the area of this circle. First thing, let's create an instance of our circle class and it can hold by the shape class and this is what we learn in our last video now we can call the function uh, function of area class and then we can simply print it now let's run and see so we can see the area has been calculated by this area function of our circle class now i'm changing this area function as an abstract so it is showing function area which cannot be abstracted so it cannot have the body so we abstract function cannot have the body and another is like abstract class need to be abstract this class need to be defined as an abstract so first thing abstract class cannot have the body inside it it can just define the functions abstract and non abstract so when i define another function print me it is showing me an error that it's not been implemented so all the functions which is defined inside the super class is need to be defined uh, need to be implemented in the child class so now i am giving the body to this print me function now you can see so there are no error now so abstract class cannot be instantiated so if i'll create try to create an object of shape class so it, you can see we cannot create an instance of this or super class which is abstract class so that's why what we can do and we can just uh, use it as the super class so now let's see 
abstract class can have both abstract and non-abstract functions so uh, let me create another class and I'm defining a function and I'm defining it as a abstract class and this function as an abstract function and I'm defining another function this is the non-abstract function so the second statement is correct now so we in inside class we can have abstract and non-abstract function and the last statement is if a class is so you can see if a function is abstract then class need to be defined as abstract so third statement is also proved now I'll revert this and I'll try to pass the same value and now run so it's doing the same thing what we did in our uh, last video it's the same thing it's doing but it is doing as the abstraction so here, here we are using as a class and the function as an abstract so you can see it print the this function overridden function so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section thank you